This is Twit. Used to be, Robert, we would prepare for this week because there'd be all we'd learn about all sorts of flaws and security problems and so forth in this in the talks at Black Hat and DEF CON. Is it? I just tell you, Leo, like what would happen to us is that every the the abstracts would come out and every contributing editor who was looking for a headline would write up the end of the world because X Y Z right exploit is coming without ever looking at the talk, and then we would field panicked people for a week until the actual. And talk then they say, out. well, they really have to get to your system, yes. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. There actually was one, and I don't know if this was a a black a black hat, but Checkpoint Software revealed Achilles, which is a nasty flaw in the Qualcomm snack, Snapdragon. <laughs> I've got snacks on my mind after our Joffle conversation. A Snapdragon chip. Uh, these vulnerabilities affect 40% of the Android market, including phones from Google, Samsung, LG, Xiaomi, OnePlus, and more. There are patches, thank God. Did, was this a black hat revelation, Robert? That was actually a DEF CON. I'm trying to bring up the slide deck. Uh, one of the things that was different about DEF CON this year was the fact that they provided all of the talks ahead of time. Nice. Because they were all pre-recorded. And so you've got the slide decks, you've actually got the videos, you've got the write-ups, the white papers. Um, that one was was particularly interesting. The talk was hard to follow because the researcher definitely wasn't English as a first language. But as you go through you realize what he's doing. He was able to take complete control of an Android device, and you could do it in such a way that the person using the Android device wouldn't actually know Yikes. that you've got root control of his device. That's terrible. Uh, he, it's, uh, now, it says it's a pwn to own Qualcomm Compute DSP for fun and profit. Um, it's not the current crop of Snapdragon chips? Right. It's an older chip. So if you have a phone you bought in the last couple of years, you're okay. There are patches, but this is the problem. The older your phone, the less likely you're going to get patches. And it's it's not necessarily even the older phones because you have to remember when you're talking about a billion plus devices that are sold every year, a lot of those are low cost devices. And the yep. low cost devices will use these older chips. Yep. It's a 40% of the overall smart smartphone market. So this is a lot of phones that need the patch that many of which will not get the patch. There are six flaws and they give you complete and absolute control of those phones. How do you get it on there? Is it with malware with a with a malicious app for instance? Uh yeah, so there were a couple of ways that they were shown. The, the the one that I was looking at was actually not publicly available. It was a demonstration that was shown to me. Uh, actually, part of DEF CON is the, uh, the Discord. They started up this Discord that has all of the people oh. that you would normally meet throughout the conference. And, I mean, oh, that's everything a good is idea. organized. Yeah. yeah, just like it would be if you were actually walking through DEF CON. Did they have a wall of sheep Discord channel? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Although it's harder to do yeah, if, if you're people not there. are not actually on yeah, site. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spot the Fed um, on the Discord video channel. Video stream, right? Like it's not just a malicious install. You can target it through a video stream. You're kidding. Correct. <gasps> yeah, because it's the rendering. That's it's the incoming. rendering engine on the chip. Any incoming content. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So this is a this is a this is one that you would clutch your Pearls and silicon say, oh, is no. unforgiving, and like I think every yeah. silicon engineer has this sort of in the back of their nightmare brain. Yeah, because once you, yeah. well, when we saw that with uh, Meltdown and Spectre, the flaws yeah. on the Intel chips. Once it's in hardware, mitigation is not easy, and and more importantly, uh, especially in the world of Android, may not there may no be no no cavalry will come or the unpatchable um, jailbreak we saw a couple, we saw last year for right. the older iPhones too. Right. Right. Um, That's actually, if you're smart, that's what you target. You don't right. target the newer chips, the newer phones, because they will get patched. You target the legacy devices because those manufacturers are no, they're not going to put any money into developing that patch into something that's releasable. Right. What else should we be terrified of? <laughs> Everything, Leo. <laughs> Everything. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Uh, th this was a, this was a, um, I, I don't want to say a lull year. I, I think it's people are trying to figure out how best to push the research that they've been doing uh, because online is it's not it's not we, we haven't figured it out. I, I loved what they did with Black Hat. I love what they're doing with DEF CON. Uh, but I, I, there was a sense of loss 
because when you're wow. at the conference, you actually have a group of friends and you kind of help each other, point each other in the, in the right direction. You don't have that with YouTube, Twitch, Discord. Yeah. Um, the That's other thing shame. that I actually kind of enjoyed, though, was the uh, there was an announcement at Black Hat uh, about satellite hacking. Now, this sounds strange because we don't use satellite. But when you think about what satellites are actually used for, uh, cruise ships, remote deployments for things like oil rigs and uh, devices that are in remote locations, uh, they were able to show that with less than $300 worth of hardware, you could basically intercept any satellite communications. And the vast majority of satellite communications are not encrypted. Right. Uh, and, and, and I actually, I want to pick up some of this hardware and see what I can get <laughs> here in the Vatican. Does it include GPS? Oh, GPS is easy. <laughs> but, but this this would be something like oh, well, a point nothing. of sale. Oh, yeah, point of sale yeah, terminals. Yeah, uh, this would be uh, uh, you know you can pick up email conversations because they don't encrypt going up to a satellite. And right. and think about how the how a satellite works. When you're going up to a satellite, you do need to point at a specific direction in order to hit that satellite. But when it's broadcasting, it's broadcasting in as large a swath as possible because it wants to hit the receiver uh, as as uh, as well as possible. So. Your beam, your packets are really scattered anywhere where anyone with the right piece of equipment, and that's basically just a digital signal uh, receiver that has a DSP on it that you can reprogram, can receive it and decode it. Here's um, a talk I, I, I would have gone to because uh, it's two researchers yeah. from Tencent, the Chinese yeah. company, Evil Printer, How to Hack Windows Machines with Printing Protocol. In this talk, we'll walk you through an incredibly fun bug we've discovered in printer spooler services. It can be exploded both locally and remotely, escapes sandbox, executes arbitrary code, and also elevates the system. While Microsoft Leo. managed to develop the most restrictive sandbox for Microsoft Edge, this bug easily goes through it like it's a sieve. But the good news is it's much easier to get a thumb drive and patch a printer than it is to get a thumb drive and patch a satellite. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but nobody patches printers. Oh, man. Nobody. They're, no, those HP printers are still they're, vulnerable. They're cheaper than the ink. You just yeah. buy the new printer. And well, and a lot of offices have these printers on the network sitting yeah. there, uh, and th that's a real vulnerability. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that one is, uh, was, is today. <laughs> I guess I missed it. Oh, well. <laughs> We'll hear about that tomorrow. <laughs> Evil printer. <laughs> Great. I'm sure Steve will cover uh, some of these. How about this one uh, from uh, Checkpoint also? Don't be silly. It's only a light bulb. Yes. This one was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you have to remember that inside your smart bulbs, be it for Hue or one of the knockoffs, it's not just something that's connected to the Bluetooth radio on your phone. It's a mini server. And so, and it's a very poorly protected mini server. And if someone can get that, it means they now have something in your network that they can pivot to to elsewhere. Um, and, and I mean, people don't realize that it's not a light bulb; it's a server. It's a server that will never be patched. So, so once somebody is in, they have visibility to everything that that bulb might be connected to. This is kind of stunning as you go through these titles. Uh, applied cash eviction. Through ATM exploitation. Yeah. Cash eviction is a euphemism for something we used to call jackpotting, making yeah. the yeah. ATM just spit <laughs> cash Fundage out. Fundage ex exfiltration. <laughs> Apparently, the high, this is from the, uh, the uh, synopsis, the high barrier to entry for even legally opening up an ATM has left a lot of attack surface area unchecked. Through this talk, we want to shed light in the state of ATM security and encourage the security community to continue to challenge ATM vendors to do better. It's apparently not so hard to get your ATM to jackpot. Or Except if you're using if your card and your account. Yeah. Money just if you want it, no, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse engineering the Tesla battery for more mm -hmm. power. <laughs> and on and on and on. Don't do that, by the way. If, if you actually own a Tesla, uh, no, no. you can hack it. But it's They'll very never clear let you that drive you it again. Yeah. Okay, Elon will come to your house. <laughs> um, there's a this is this is just fascinating. All of the different things. So, but it's a shame. It sounds uh, sounds like it's a little bit sad, as well. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, but I mean, 
you were right uh, when you and Renee were talking about this at the beginning that every year we get to the sky is falling. We get right. to this is the worst thing ever. Uh, this is this is just how it works now. We yeah. have to find the vulnerabilities. And the nice thing about this is we will find the companies that are responsible enough to patch them. And those are the yes. ones that we're going to end up trusting. Oh, that's a very good point. Everyone will have flaws. It's how they respond to them that matters. If anything, we, we, we would do the, the most good by just publicizing those companies that step forward and say, we'll fix it.